Are you someone that is afraid to play with eyeshadow? Do you think you look like a clown every time you put your eyeshadow on? Well, let me tell you, those days are over because I am going to teach you some simple steps on how you can apply your eyeshadow to look classy and also sassy if you want. Now, let's get started. I'm so excited to share. First, let's get a couple of things straight. When it comes to makeup, there are no rules. So you can wear whatever shade on your eyes that you want. Most people think, well, I have brown eyes, so I need to stick with blue colors, or I have green eyes, I should only wear plums. That is not true. Now, some colors do have the ability to pull out certain colors a little bit more, but I wouldn't just stick with a certain color palette just because of makeup rules that are really non-existent. So that said, I'm going to be using a palette that has some purple shades in it, but one of the most important things that you need is a good makeup brush, okay? Even if you just start with one, it could make all of the difference in the world. That said, let's get started with the application. Okay, so first, we're gonna keep this super simple, everyday girl makeup. There are a lot more fancy tips and tricks that I can teach you, but again, we want to keep it simple, and then you can elaborate from there. So first of all, the most important thing is the brush. This is so important more than you know. A lot of eyeshadows out there come with this rubbery tip that does not do you any good. It does not serve you well, trust me on that. So what you should do is invest in at least one good brush. So first of all, I'm going to use a palette that has some nice plum shades in it and I'm going to do a base color. So the base color is a lighter shade and now what I want you to do is break up with the so-called windshield wiper stroke, okay? What we want to do is place the product on the eye. Another good tip is don't be so heavy handed with the product. That my friend is why most of the time people feel like they look like a clown because they think that if they put on more it's going to look better. In fact you have to remember that makeup is layerable. So you want to go light and then you could always add more as you go. So you take the brush really really light and you just keep applying until you get the look that you desire. So see how nice and light that is. And what I'm gonna do with this particular application is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this shade and bring it up, okay? It's light enough for me that I can bring it throughout, but I'm also going to be laying some other shades on top. If I wanted to, I could leave this just like this and I would be happy. It looks nice. It's, um, I think it's a great shade and I could just add some liner and mascara and be ready to go. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you some other tips. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this eye. Just apply this shade and once again, you place the product on the eye. Break up with that windshield washer stroke. Trust me, I had to do that. I did that for years, but you don't know what you don't know, right? Okay, and once again, we will be doing some blending here, and you will notice a difference. See, what do you think about that? That looks good, doesn't it? Next, we're gonna add some depth to this look. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and still use this deluxe brush. I would prefer to use a crease brush or an angle brush, but I'm gonna keep it simple by just using this one brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a darker shade, and what I'm gonna use is this shade right here. This shade is called Ecstatic, and what I'm gonna do is apply just a little bit on the one side of the brush. I'm gonna come in the crease part here, And do you see how I am creating a little bit of depth there? Now, not to worry because we are going to be blending this, but do you see how 
it creates that look there. And I always want to swoop upward with the eye makeup, okay? So now I'm gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. I'm gonna go here and I want you to think of the number seven, okay? Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here above the eye, come over, and then come down. So this is like a number seven. So do you see how easy that is? All right, so I have some depth created in here. And once again, I am gonna come back and do a little more blending. I always wanna swoop upward with, with the product here. Looks like I went a little higher over here than I did on this side, so I'm gonna you know, even that out just a little bit. But once again, we still have to blend, not to worry. That said, I'm gonna use this shade here that's called Smitten, and I'm gonna use that as a transition color, which just means I'm going to use that to blend out these, um, these two shades here. So I'm gonna just take the pencil, excuse me, the brush, <laughs> and just lightly blend that out so it doesn't look like it's just all these separations in color where I want it to be more blended, okay? And I chose a matte with also a shimmer shade in addition. Some people like to use just matte, but I like to combine the two. And as you can see, I have a nice eye that is not too dark, it's not too light, it looks absolutely amazing, and it really just lifts up my eyes. And next, all I have to do is just add eyeliner. So I hope that helped. Remember the number seven. Remember to always have a great brush, and blending is key. Thank you for watching.